I talked about this on my other channel, The Mind of Moon Dog. In fact, I think I got it right here. Kai Senate was banned from Twitch. Another common Twitch L. That video is up. Check it out. The Mind of Moon Dog. Now we have a follow up. We're getting reports here from multiple sources. Not confirmed, but there's enough of these uh, media sources on Twitter that are coming up and, and, you know, putting this out there. What we have here is that it's been reported that Twitch made between 10 and 15 million when Kai streamed every day of the month of February. He reportedly took home around 2 mil. This is probably one of the most egregious things I've seen Twitch do today. And they've done some pretty dumb shit that have gotten them L's all over the place. But this may be the, 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 the biggest L ever Twitch has done. What's pretty upsetting about this is that this goes to show you how bad that platform is in terms of creators and their splits. He got two mil out of 10 to 15 that was totally made there. That's not even, that's not even like 20% or something. It, 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 like the mathing, mathing. I don't know what his split was. If it was a 70 30, uh, it, it has to have 70 30. I'm guessing here. If it was a 50 50, but the numbers don't add up here. And to me, this is really the nail in the coffin. We don't know whether or not he's going to move platforms just yet. I hope he does. I don't, there's no sense in having platform loyalty. If you're a creator on Twitch and you're with the and you're stuck with a 50-50 split with them and you're still streaming there and haven't left or started going elsewhere and started converting your audience to another platform where you can thrive better from their support, I am convinced those creators hate fucking making money. They absolutely must hate making money to thrive and to run a successful content creation business. Why would you allow yourself to still be getting raped of 50% of, of your income from Twitch? It is absurd. And then you see stuff like this. I don't even understand how people still mess with that platform. I left it, uh, uh, what, maybe coming up on a year now, I left it because nothing about it makes any type of sense. And I hope Right. And ultimately, this is Kai's decision, but I hope this brother leaves that platform because nothing uh, about any of this shows that they really actually give a shit about him. They only care about what they're getting from his work. That's it. It was this old saying, I'm sure many of you may have heard it go where you are celebrated, not tolerated. He ain't celebrated there. A stupid pair of ugly fucking purple shoes they sent him as a congratul congratulations for his achievement hitting 300,000 subscribers. Now knowing that they raked in 10 to 15 mil, they should have sent them so much more. They should have offered him a contract. And presumably it seems like they haven't done it just yet. And I'm hoping that he realizes this and his team makes the decision to move. The thing about it is his audience will move with him. And I don't know why he's holding back. He could go on YouTube. He'll they'll easily throw him a bag at kick the new streaming platform. Aiden Ross is already over there. He wants him over there so they can collaborate again. Uh, people want to see that. I don't understand why, why creators are so scared to, to move. Yeah. You might not have every one of your audience in your, in your community move with you, but you'll have enough that will move with you still rock with you and you can start building up again over there. So many people are afraid to do this and it's holding them back. And the whole time you're holding yourself back, you're having half of your fucking income stripped away from you from this platform that isn't doing like, what are they really doing? They're just providing the servers for you to stream from. That's it. They're not up putting the hours in uh, for you to develop your content, for you to do your prep work for your content, all the production stuff that goes into it. They're not doing anything with that. They're merely letting, giving you a platform just to hit go live and the back end stuff to allow you to appear on people's screens and mobile devices for 50%. It blows my mind. There's a couple of comments in here I, I do want to co uh, comment on and react to, which is you got this sentiment here from some people that is like, oh, but why? what's the big deal? You made two mil. That's more than most people make. Yeah, of course it is, right? But that is a stupid fucking way to look at it. People that have this mindset that, oh, but you made two mil. Why are you crying? Or what's the big deal? Um, there were some other comments like this too. Um, here, 
Bro made two mil in the shortest month of the year streaming. Am I supposed to feel bad for him? The problem with this logic from idiots is that one, you have no sense of basic business. This is fundamentally about business. That attitude and, and sentiment is, it comes from a place of you're just happy to have a job type shit. Kai for 28 days, bro. He lined up so much content. It's commendable that he had something every day lined up that was interesting, funny, creative, wild. Every day was something different that him and his team put together that, that made people come there, watch, and support. For them to give them just walk away with two mil out of the 10 to 15, guys, this is basic business. This is basic business. The math, it's just a horrible, you know, horrible split for him. He deserves way, way more of a bigger chunk from that. Um, but for me, the problem here is that this is a clear picture that Twitch doesn't give a fuck about him after all that he's done. And I pray that this brother walks away from this shitty platform and goes somewhere where he will get a better split and, and recognition for what he does and what he brings to the platform.